10 Most Dangerous Places to Visit Around the World The world is full of fascinating places that attract tourists in their droves. There is a lot of variety to these destinations, from tropical paradises to mountainous peaks, and they attract people ranging from sunseekers to thrill seekers. However, as incredible as some locations can be, they can also be very dangerous. The danger can be from different sources, from natural hazards to high crime levels. Here's a look at some of the most dangerous tourist destinations on the planet. 10. Death Valley National Park, California, USA. Death Valley National Park leaves up to its name, being the hottest and driest place in the United States. In the 19th century, thousands of miners were killed on its territory as they tried to take a shortcut, moving from place to place in search of gold deposits. There are far fewer victims in our century, but Death Valley still kills. Up to 10 people lose their lives here every year. The main threat to tourists is the high temperature. In summer, the temperature ranges from plus 50 degrees Celsius during the day and drops drastically at night. There are also dangerous animals in the valley, risk of flash floods and mudslides during rainstorms, and the possibility of stumbling upon an illegal marijuana plantation. So what is it that attracts travelers to such a dangerous place? First of all, these are absolutely alien landscapes. Here you can find colorful mountains, sand dunes, plains covered with salt, drying rivers, canyons, and clay desert. The most popular locations are Zabriskie Point and Dante's View with their fantastic views, the Rainbow Hills of Artists Palette, the surreal Badwater Basin Salt Marsh, the incredible Mosaic Canyon, and the dried up racetrack Playa Lake with moving rocks. 9. El Caminito del Rey, Spain. El Caminito del Rey is much more commonly referred to as the Trail of Death. It is indeed among the most extreme mountain trails in the world. The tracking is located in one of the most visited climbing areas in Europe, the El Choro Gorge, which is located in the Spanish province of Malaga. The trail was built for the workers who erected the hydraulic structures of the Cani de Guadalhorce Reservoir in 1901-1905. At that time, it was a concrete cornice, not more than a meter wide, laid along the rocks at the height of 100 meters. A narrow suspension bridge connected one side of the canyon to the other. Over time, the road was no longer used, and it began to deteriorate slowly. But when the fashion for extreme tourism came, El Caminito del Rey was remembered again. After a series of accidents on the Trail of Death, the authorities banned the route in 2001. It reopened only 15 years later, already in the status of an official tourist attraction. During this time, El Caminito del Rey was reconstructed and provided with a wire fence and railings in the most dangerous places. The 7.7-kilometer long trail is still considered very difficult, and accidents can still happen. But for those who dare to walk it, the bird's eye views of the rugged cliffs, the gorges and riverbed, the majestic canyons, the old railroad, the Gaitanijo Reservoir, and the Green Hoyo Valley are absolutely breathtaking. 8. Devil's Pool, Zambia. This breathtakingly beautiful natural landscape pool is located at the very edge of Victoria Falls in Zambia. Many people risk their lives to dive into it, not just to see but to feel the waters of the Zambezi River rushing past them. They pass the last rocky barrier and fall down from a height of 120 meters. It is worth mentioning that sometimes the river takes the bravest daredevils with it, and they are hard to find later. Those who like to make hype photos for social networks are particularly at risk, seeking to stretch as far as possible over the abyss. But in fact, even the way to this attraction is quite dangerous. For example, tourists have to swim to the Devil's Pool along the Zambezi River from Livingstone Island to reach it and overcome the habitat of crocodiles and hippos. They are known to be very aggressive when disturbed. However, it is worth admitting that the impressions that those desperate for this extreme are really unique, and the views of the formidable waterfall, and the rainbow towering over it are memorable for a lifetime. 7. Anak Krakatoa, Indonesia. This is the name of an uninhabited volcanic island in the Pacific Ocean belonging to Indonesia. In 1883, the Krakatoa volcano erupted here, one of the deadliest in modern history. It split the island into four parts and caused a 37-meter high tsunami wave that killed more than 30,000 people. For some time, it was thought the volcano itself was destroyed. But 45 years later, a new fire mountain rose from the water in its place, which was named Anak Krakatau, which means Child of Krakatau in Indonesian. Since its birth, it has grown steadily. Now its height is more than 800 meters. This volcano is one of the most dangerous places in the world because it never sleeps. During its existence, there have been five large destructive eruptions. And then, there are innumerable Strombolian ones when the fiery giant spits out red-hot rock debris, lava, ash, and toxic gas clouds into the sky. But this does not prevent Anak Krakatoa from being a very popular tourist attraction. Boat tours are organized to the volcano. And if it behaves relatively calmly, visitors are even allowed to camp on the black sand beach and wander the hot lava fields. 6. 
Blue Hole, Egypt. The Blue Hole is a vertical underwater cave more than 120 meters deep, surrounded by the most beautiful reef of the Red Sea. It is located 15 kilometers from the Egyptian resort of Dahab. Tourist guides call it one of the best dive sites in the world, but it is also known as the graveyard of divers. The bodies of the daredevils who have never conquered Blue Hole do rest at the bottom of this karst sinkhole. There are no official statistics, but about 150 people have died there over the past two decades. In their honor, a spontaneous memorial with nameplates was created on one of the coastal cliffs. Most accidents occur when inexperienced divers perform a dive without special technical diving equipment into the arch, a long horizontal tunnel connecting the cave to the sea. They die from nitrogen narcosis, disorientation, and depletion of air supply during ascent. Therefore, only divers qualified as advanced open water divers are allowed to explore Blue Hole. The colorful reef is full of a variety of sea creatures, from colorful parrotfish to predatory barracudas and moray eels. One of the cave walls is covered by a large colony of the rare coral Pachycerus speciosa called elephant skin. 5. Trolltunga, Norway. Trolltunga, or Trolltung, is one of Norway's most popular attractions. The rocky outcrop on Eskegidal rises 700 meters above Lake Ringedalsvatn and in the Vestland region. Its length is about 10 meters. The base of the ledge is wide and relatively safe, while the edge hanging over the abyss is rather narrow and thin. And there are no fences here. But neither this, nor the strong wind, nor the frequent fogs, nor the huge risk of falling down do not stop hundreds and thousands of fans of extreme selfies. You have to hand it to them, the pictures really turn out great, stark and unapproachable rocks against the background of clouds and the shining lake surface below. When the weather is good, you can even capture the Faljafana glacier, covered in a snow cap. Hiking to Trolltunga is allowed only from early June to the end of August. This route is quite difficult, as it passes through inaccessible mountainous terrain, and the weather here is so variable that it can snow even in summer. You have to climb up and down the mountain repeatedly, move on slippery stones and paths covered with wet clay, overcome streams, and pits with water. But hikers enjoy the hour-long journey to Trolltunga, as it gives them the chance to meet the beautiful nature of Norway. 4. Everest, Nepal. Many climbers call climbing Everest a momentous test of skill and endurance. And it is, without a doubt, one of the most dangerous places in the world. The odious 8,849-meter-high mountain prepares many extreme challenges for its conquerors. Abrupt weather changes, blizzards, winds, avalanches, deep cracks hidden by the snow, cliffs, ice streams, and low temperatures. But that is not what is most frightening, and it is what happens to the human body as you ascend. At 3,600 meters, the air is so thin that the body receives only 60% of the oxygen it needs. One climber compared the sensation to trying to breathe through a cocktail straw while running. The base camp is located at an altitude of 5,000 meters. Even a short stay there threatens blood clotting, which leads to heart attacks, strokes, and pulmonary edema. Oxygen deprivation causes general weakness, attacks of choking and coughing, as well as changes of consciousness up to hallucinations. The dead zone begins at 8,000 meters, where it is impossible to survive without an oxygen tank. There is a narrow path to Everest Peak itself, and climbers have to wait for their turn to climb for several hours, wasting this precious resource. So some simply don't have enough oxygen for the descent and die. Over the past 100 years, Everest has taken more than 300 lives. And according to the Himalayan Rescue Service, about 200 of the dead have been left to rest on the summit because bringing their bodies down is a technically difficult and expensive process. Three. North Yungas Road, Bolivia. Tourists who have been able to travel this route and stay alive compare the experience to climbing Everest. Although its official name is North Yungas Road, it is better known around the world as the Bolivian Road of Death. The route was built in the 1930s to connect the cities of La Paz and Coroaco and runs along the very edge of a steep mountain serpentine. It has a total length of 56 kilometers and elevation differences ranging from 4,650 meters to 1,200 meters. The width of most part of the road is only 3.2 meters, and it is very difficult for two cars to pass each other here. In addition, almost all of its length, the northern Yungas is not covered with asphalt, but with clay, which the high humidity makes too slippery. And if you add to this the frequent rains leading to landslides, poor visibility due to fog, rock falls, and waterfalls, then the sad statistics of the road of death, up to 300 deaths each year, become clear. Since the new road from La Paz to Coroaco was launched in 2006, locals have been using North Yungas much less frequently. But there has been a significant increase in extreme tourists, not only in cars but also on bicycles and motorcycles. The most popular entertainment, which is offered to foreigners by many travel agents Agencies, is downhill mountain biking. In the past 10 years, this attraction has taken at least 13 lives. The biggest accident in the history of the ride happened in 1984. That's when a passenger bus fell off a cliff. 100 people died simultaneously. 2. 
Fagerdalsjall, Iceland. In March 2021, the Fagerdalsjall volcano woke up in the center of the Reykjanes Peninsula, 30 kilometers from Reykjavik, for the first time in 6,000 years. It instantly became the new top attraction in Iceland. The volcano attracts thousands of tourists who are not afraid of getting hurt or burnt in the lava fields or being poisoned by toxic gases. The volcano's cone rises 224 meters above the surrounding terrain. The entire space around it is covered with solidified magma, and lava flows out of the crater, 334 meters in diameter. Sometimes, it is a slow and lazy stream, and sometimes, bursting like a geyser. The latter is just a fascinating spectacle, awe-inspiring to all onlookers. But since clouds of toxic fumes randomly change direction according to the wind, those who want to admire them up close should choose carefully from which side to approach Fagerdals Jettel. Another danger awaiting tourists is the red-hot tunnels and pockets under the seemingly frozen surface, which you can fall into. Therefore, Icelandic authorities strongly recommend that tourists observe the raging fire element from a safe distance. 1. Danakil Depression, Ethiopia. The Danakil Depression is located in the desert of the same name in northern Ethiopia. It is one of the hottest places on Earth. The maximum summer air temperature reaches plus 63 degrees Celsius, and the soil can get as hot as plus 70 degrees Celsius. Nevertheless, thousands of courageous adventurers come here, risking their lives to see the absolutely alien landscapes of the Danakil Depression. There are three volcanoes here, the Sleeping Ayalu in Dalol and the Active Erta Ale. The latter is the only one in the world with two lava lakes at once. Many hot springs rise to the surface of the depression. They are surrounded by intricate sculptures, salt deposits colored yellow, orange, terracotta, and green. The large Dalo Lake is especially picturesque, with its shores shimmering in all kinds of hues, from lemon to purple. Its water has a grassy color and literally boils, its temperature can reach plus 110 degrees Celsius. The air in Danakil is acidic and acrid, saturated with poisonous fumes. Not only is it hard to breathe here, but you can also lose consciousness, get burns, and serious poisoning. Despite all the risks to life, the depression is being mined in salt marshes that were formed thousands of years ago. Endless lines of laden camels add a special flavor to the creepy and beautiful landscape of the Danakil Depression.